practice of substandard and dangerous food. Thus, the beast system is the administrative state, made up of a plethora of administrative and regulatory agencies controlling and regulating every aspect of your life, provide, providing issued privileges in the form of licenses to do that which you have the right to do in order to control that activity. Thus, you can neither buy nor sell unless you have the mark or approval of the beast or administrative state. The beast or administrative state is directly proportional to the ignorance of the people. Abolish ignorance, which is the only evil, and you abolish the beast. Who was able to make war with the beast? Only the 144,000 poor righteous teachers, teaching man a new song or paradigm. The Moorish ascended masses have been behind everything that has happened on this planet since the beginning. These ascended masses were called the 24 scientists by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and called the 24 elders round about the throne of God and the Bible. Our people are an ancient people. When we began, and from whence we came cannot be determined. Truly we are the ancient of days. This universe is a projection of our conscious mind, a thought upon a holographic material of the universe, otherwise known as the ethers. This caused the ethers to vibrate and play a universal song called the music of the spheres, and thence to engender the myriad forms which we call reality. Thus the universe itself is our paradigm, the Moorish paradigm. Our evolution on this planet Earth has not been haphazard. There is a plan. When we chose to undergo the study of self on Earth by manifesting on this Earth, we knew we had wise ones among us who had already completed this course of study and would be there to help and guide us, albeit indirectly. These ascended masses have been called by many names. Again, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad called them the 24 science, scientists. The Bible met, makes reference to the 24 elders round about the throne. These ascended masses are us in a more highly evolved form. You can say in a sense that they are our destiny, our future. From that level of consciousness we came and to it we will return. All throughout the ages, there has been a form of education and initiation designed to return man back to his original estate. It has been called the mystery school system. This system of initiation was designed by those who had already traveled that path. The ascended masters, since the ascended masters are those who have already passed through this education, who would naturally be better qualified to assist the members of the human family to evolve back into their higher selves? This esoteric or hidden knowledge involves knowledge of this universe and how it works and the true understanding of the relationship of God and man. Man, know thyself. Some scientists say the average person only uses 5 to 10 percent of his full brain's potential. The initiation that the ascended masses have designed is intended to allow us to unlock the hidden and unknown capacities of the mind. Once you have achieved a certain level of consciousness, you enter the ranks of the Ascended Masters. The Ascended Masters is like a person at the summit of a mountain with his hands extended down to pull up his fellow human. This is the responsibility of being a true Ascended Master is and is in fact what allows one to reach the summit in the first place. Those who have already ascended have been reaching the hand down to their fellow human throughout the ages. These are the ones who inspire the prophets, reformers, saviors, inventors, etc. at certain times throughout history. By communicating via mental telepathy those things the human family of the planet Earth need in order to evolve to the next stage in their earthly initiation. Throughout the history of man on this planet, there has always been individuals among us who have passed through, this, through the trials and tribulation it takes to become an ascended master. In the same way in which the ascended masses have been assisting individuals, they have been assisting the whole human family as a whole.
It was the ascended masters who put together religion and the concepts of God for man. Each concept that man held of God was a direct reflection of our level of consciousness and evolution. Our relationship to God and how it evolves is similar to that of a child and his concept of his parents. If God is seen as the father or mother and we are the children, any parent who is a good parent wants to see their child mature and eventually become a parent also. Man has been evolving. The evolution is seen in our religion and concept of God as exhibited in the story of Adam and Eve. As we evolve, so does our concept of God develop. The age we are about to enter is the age of the maturity of man. The final conflict, or Armageddon, which we are now in, will result in the human family of the planet Earth being initiated into our adulthood, or Godhood. Our concept of God and religion was designed to take us up to this point, but the religious isms and ritualisms won't carry us through the initiation or transition that the Earth is about to pass through. In this day and time, all religions in the common sense of that word will fail. It will be hard and fearful for man to make the transition and finally realize that that which he has feared and worshipped through the ages is himself. This is the maturity of man and the completion of our course of study on this planet. We will then graduate into an intergalactic and universal humanity far beyond anything we can imagine. This is the ultimate goal and purpose of this journal of the Moorish Paradigm. That is, to expand the mind and prepare for the new Jerusalem, the new age. Atlantis, the land of Mu, or the Moors, represented the golden age for the earth. After the collapse of the Atlantean civilization, as a result of the great cataclysms of approximately 1500 BC, our ancestors tried to rebuild the Atlantean civilization, but our attempts failed primarily because of the variations of the dialects of the language and rituals which resulted from the break of the, of the Atlantean system and the breakdown of communications between its parts as a result of the cataclysms, the Tower of Babel. Thus, ever since that time, the plan to reunite the world under one order has continued. However, it has been continued behind the scenes until recent times. This is the time of the New Age. I close this issue of the Moorish Paradigm with these words from the Prophet Noble Ali's Holy Quran. He says, quote, we measure time by cycle ages, and the gate to every age we deem a milestone in the journey of the race. An age had passed, the gate unto another flies open at the age touch of time. This is the preparation age of soul, the kingdom of Emmanuel, of God, Allah, and man. Peace. <laughs>